Anyways, I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center. I'm going to deposit Raikou, and uh, you know what? Actually, I'll take you guys with me because I kind of want to show you Zoroark's stats. Um, I'm gonna bring. Then I'm gonna put Pants here back in the party so we can get that item over there. And then we're gonna fight the rest of the trainers on this route. It's a live pod. These guys get pretty good experience, I think. Yes, indeed they do. I'll fight this guy. I ain't afraid of your shit. Wow, yeah, man, Avion is so much stronger. It's just, you know, once he goes below half HP, that defeat is nature, so we really, really, really can't let that happen. Um, by the way, I looked up what it actually does more accurately, since I was kind of, like, brief about it before. Um, so what it does is it will have your special attack and regular attack. So special attack, not a big deal, not a big hit there, you know, it's your special attack. That's not really what you're going for with Avion, so who cares, but having your attack half like it doesn't even go down one or two levels it goes down half so that's a big big loss so that's like i said it's a deal breaker for a lot of people some people won't even use archon and archaeops just for that sole reason that the defeatist nature or the defeatist ability is just so shit but if you can keep him up high in hp he's he is a beast so i'm willing to take that i'm willing to take that risk Plus, even with his halved attack, he's still really fast, so... There's that. Alright, so let's get our party back in order. I'm a need as PC. Okay, so, um... Party people. Where my party people at? Raikou, you are done with. By the way, these are all the shiny dogs. You get these from the GameStop event. I showed you that. They have uh, pretty interesting movesets. That, once again, was not what I wanted to do. Thank you, game. Apparently the triangle button is the end-all be-all when it comes to box movability. Alright, so this is Zoroark. I don't know if he has a set nature. I highly doubt it, but uh, we got bold nature. whoop de doo Illusion ability, you know what that does. And uh, here are his moves. Fury swipes, faint attack, scary face taunt. Kind of a shitty move set, but hey, welcome to Zoroark, right? Um, no. I recommend starting with Zorua if you actually want to. You've got more room to uh, mess with his moves it there so there's that so there it goes add that to another list of the legendaries we have procured in this game making that three events yay all right so now that that's done oh should i did i bring pants here back in my party i think i did yeah because i didn't see him in there no 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 do i press the triangle it's the end all be all there we go that should get us out of there all right now let's see how our pokemon are doing yeah we got pants here sure enough <laughs> Oof. Man, the soda is killing me. Alright, so now that's that. Oh, there was also something else I wanted to show. Apparently the battle subway um, is the only way to reach a certain town, which I was referring to in another Nimbasa episode. Anvil Town. It's a really, like, shitty, off-the-beaten-path town. Can I show it? Do I have a map? Do I have a map by chance in my, like, items? Town map. There. Oh, no, 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 no. Town map use okay yeah so um this is anvil town way out here a city with a rail yard where train parks for trains park for an overhaul um so yeah this is the only way to get there is from the battle subway in Nimbasa city which you totally wouldn't expect but yeah it's way out here it's really small there's not really shit to do there but i'm gonna visit it anyway just so in case like we ever want to go there later we can fly there or something you know plus you can't really leave a town unexplored that's just no good no mucho good all right, so time to fight the rest of these people. As you can see, you can't explore the dark grass plot area of this until you have strength, which I do. We do have strength, but I don't think we can use it until we beat um, Alyssa and the gym here. Maybe, maybe it's even later than that, I don't know. I wonder if I can, you know, actually I should try, because I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm just assuming. All right, so this guy has got a scraggy pluck will totally tear him a new butthole. Goodbye. No defenses are no match for me, Scraggy. Oh, so close. Was that really all you had? All right. All right, so let's just see. Um, oh my god, I actually can use strength right now. Holy crap. Would you look at that? All right, cool. Well, um, let me go check if there's any other trainers around here first. Show sure enough. Hey, buddy, don't you dare walk away from me. Thank you, cyclist with your visor. I ride a bicycle, I feel fresh winds, and I win Pokemon battles. Is that your theme song? Because if it is, I like it actually. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Of course, now you've got to back it up and actually win. Good luck with that. You and your Whirlipede. 
You know, he looks like a Whirl of Dawn to me, like, because he kind of looks like Dawn Finn and Rhydon. I don't know, like, he doesn't look like Pete. Whirl, I think Whirl of Dawn would have been a cool name. Uh, it's kind of close to Wormadon, though. Yeah, he's got Poison Point. If you hit him with a physical move, you got like a 10 or 30 or some odd percent chance of getting poisoned, which just happened to affect us. That's wonderful. Poison. What bullshit. Another Whirlipede. You know, I'm not even going to switch. Because I am that confident that I can take down your Whirladon. Whirladon. What's his evolved form? Venipede. Venipede is cool. I would use a Venipede. He kind of sucks, though, so actually I probably wouldn't. Oh, 666 experience. That was not good. That's a bad sign. Alright, let's get some healing going on here. Can't have that poisoning happening. Poisoning happening. That can't be right. Antidote. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, so I started recording a new LP today, too, guys. I wish I could talk about it. I mean, I'm a s you know what? It will go up before this, so I'm pretty sure I could talk about it. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Wow. Oh god, I've been wanting to, it's like, it's kind of like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories game, it's just like, I'm not sure how people will feel about it, but it's one of those games I love from my childhood, and it's really good, so I just don't know. Um, so yeah, but I had to do it, even though I've got so much stuff going on right now, you know, I just kind of had to, I felt the ink inkling. Alright, so what are these guys doing? They said Marvelous Bridge is being checked. Being checked? What the hell does that mean? And they said that, so you're just gonna guard it without even... Alright, basically, so that's our plot stopper right there. We can't head to Marvelous Bridge yet, so that's all we're going to be able to explore. Let's check what this place is all about. So, as you know, the dark grass leads to uh, possible double grass battles. That's lovely, right? I need to change my Pokemon around. Oh, everybody's like a nice even level 27 here. Okay, cool. Let's get some switching on going there. I'm going to try to level them up in the order in which I caught them, just because, I don't know, it just seems fair, you know? You were here first. Oh, why'd you have to look at me now? That's gonna force me to go into the grass. <laughs> oh god, these trainers just say such stupid things. What are they doing with their life? Swadloon? Oh, big mistake, pal. Actually, yeah, that was a good choice. I should have I knew I should have put DK Jr. in the front. I just had a feeling, you know, I had an inkling. But I think we'll be okay here. Um, let's test out strength. I don't think this bitch will kill me. Let's just try out strength. Very powerful. Of course, no stab, so... String shot, and then you missed with it? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Man, that was weak. Bug bite? That's not gonna be good. Oh, yeah, that does a lot. Okay, let's kill her with strength. Should... Oh, oh come on. I should have been using Dig from the get-go just because it's the most powerful move Slowflake has right now, but... I don't know. I like to experiment. Especially when I know I'm not in any real danger of dying. Not to a Swadloon, that's for sure. Bam! Look at that! Can levels like BAMPS up in here. The bond between you and your Pokemon? Did you now? Yeah, I mean, Slow Flaker type. We're bros. Bros before hoes, you know? Like it shows oh ho. DK Jr., if you could just get in front there, that would be lovely. Oh, see what I mean? I knew it was gonna bite me in the ass. I knew it. Oh, it's a little trubbish! Oh! <laughs> The comic relief Pokemon of this generation, he's literally a piece of trash. He's a trash bag, and Garboder is like a trash bag that's opening up and getting spilling everywhere. I really love these guys. I have them on, what do I have Garboder on? My header on Twitter has a, a Scrafty and a Garboder. Pretty cool picture I found. Yeah, so, I don't know. Pretty cool. Play. Oh, why do I have not have my thingy on? Why did that? Oh, I had to switch dipshit in front, that's why. Uh, what do we got over here? TM66 Payback. Ah, that's worth the trip. That's a pretty good dark type move. Might want to put that on Scraggy, but probably not because Faint Attack is better, I think. Is that the movie he has right now? Faint Attack? Oh, okay. oh hey, you can find Mincinos in here. Sweet. Cincino or Chincino or whatever you call it is really cool. I like him. Oh, Mincino looks cooler, actually. I don't. What the balls are you doing? Alright, so I guess that's all that this way is a trainer and. TM66 Payback. I had no idea we could use Strength that so soon. Alright, all we got left to do on this route is check out this... Yes, I'm avoiding grass at all costs. I don't know why. The experience here. The Pokemon just don't give good enough experience. What do we got? A rare candy. Oh, that's pretty cool. I want to use that uh, right about now, actually. 
Let's see what Pokemon need it the most. Summary, who's like farthest away from a level up? Oh wow, DK Jr. is not even close. Tim, Slowflake. Yeah, everybody else has already a decent amount of experience invested. You don't want to waste that, so rare candy to DK Jr. it is. He was elevated to level 28. Oh no, my last rare candy. I thought he was going to learn a move or something. Okay, so now we're getting people up to level 28, so Crash, you're up next, buddy. The reason I like to put the top two that need it the most in the front two instead of just like changing the lead is just in case I get into like a... I'm about to get into a double battle and I forget or something, you know. Don't want that to happen and give a Pokemon experience that doesn't need it, so... That's the logic behind that, and I always forget to put my dowsing machine back on. That's why I hate having to exit out just to check the menu. Sometimes I don't even want to change my Pokemon just because because of that sole reason that I don't want not want to have to worry about putting the dowsing machine back on. Alright, so with that done, there's but a few things left to do. We have to check out the route to the left of Nimbasa City, which I have no idea which route it is, like number-wise, numerical-wise. Wait, what am I doing here? No, I don't want to come to the fucking PC. I want to heal. Jeez, man. And then I also want to take the battle subway to Anvil Town to see how that place is handling itself. But I've, it's 27 minutes we're at already. I don't know how long it's going to take to get to Anvil Town. I don't know if I have to, like, battle anybody first. Let's just see. Let's just see how long it'll take. Because uh, I know doing the route thing will take a while, so... Oh, this place does look pretty cool. Looks like a subway station. Whoa. Man, gear station. I've never been in this place before. This is really cool. All right, what does this thing do? Do I have to buy a ticket? Under construction. Uh, what's this? Platform for Wi-Fi trains... Multi trains, super multi trains. Platform for trains to Anvil Town. Can I go this way? All right. Is this where I buy a ticket, or is this just a PC? It's just a PC. Okay, nothing in this trash can. Oh, nope. Doop, doop. Yeah, I already know there's nothing in there. But let's see. Uh, can I buy a ticket? Well, no. Do I buy it from you? Oh uh, yeah, I would. All right, cool. We're gonna get to go to Anvil Town. Super multi-pass trains. <laughs> I'm not over that yet. All right, so here we are, Anvil Town, way out in the middle of nowhere. Way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, to be exact. Oh yeah, look at that. This is a little nice, little handy map of where everything goes. That's kind of cool. So it's really not just a battle thing. There's a bunch of stuff. I think this girl will add flutes to the music. Maybe. Man, this place has great music. Oh, are you also curious about that train? Yeah, what is that train doing? Oh, God. A single train. It's the oldest train in the battle subway. It's for a loop line to go through the Unova region. Tube line bridge? Oh, yeah, that's another bridge we haven't come across yet. Trains that run on it is the single train. Huh. So, yeah, apparently that train can run on all those different tracks. That's pretty interesting. A lot of train cars have a rest here. Yeah. Girl on the bridge, she's playing a lullaby for all the sleeping trains of this town. Oh, isn't that sweet? Anvil Town, rolling out of steel rails. This place looks pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie, I've never actually visited this town before. This is the first time, so I'm kinda just taking it in. Oh, hidden item over here. Whoop! Ultra Ball, cool beans. Wasted a lot of them on Zoroark, so I'll take it. Can I jump off here now? Looks like you can. I love the music here, oh my gosh. It's pretty amazing. This looks just like uh, Nuvema Town. It's all small and stuff, only a few houses. A lot of people come here to watch the trains. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did read something about that in the strategy guide. And if you come here on the weekends... Um, oh, man, and the weekend is just in like an hour and 45 minutes, too. Um, there's actually a lot of people in this town. It's a big hustle and bustle. Everybody's watching the trains because apparently they flow through here or something. I don't know. Yeah, I should definitely come back and check that out. Because it's Friday right now. It's Friday. Yeah, yeah, see? That's what I said. Many Starpiece collectors gather here. It must be easier for them to collect their items because many people were trading your friends. Oh, yeah. I also read something about that in the book, too. If you come here, you can apparently trade star pieces for something. Uh, there's a star piece traders here. They, like, trade it for certain items. Star pieces, if you have them, so... I think you can just pick them up and... You got it, buddy. I work as a depot agent on the battle subway. That's bot. Yep. Ah, true that. 
Oh, hey, wow, a rare candy, really? Damn, I guess that's just like your prize for coming here. All right, sweet, dude, another rare candy, huh? I will take that. I'm actually not gonna use it right now, because everybody seemed like they still had a bit of experience. So maybe as soon as somebody, did I talk to you yet? Oh yeah. All right, let's check out this last house. God, I love this place already, man. I regret not coming here. Turntable, yeah, 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 so that directs the, uh, excuse me, ma'am, traffic of that train. Drive the trains and the people who maintain them have a big responsibility, true that. That is so true. Yeah, when uh, when this game was first coming out, like, news was flowing in about it. Um, one of the things Game Freak advertised was a new mode of transportation, and everybody was freaking out that you're finally going to be able to drive cars in Pokemon and, like, you know, use that, and it would replace the HM Fly and stuff like that. But, uh, nope, it actually turned out to be trains in the Battle Subway, since you can take trains anywhere out, so that's the new mode of transportation. Some people thought it as a letdown, but I don't know. I like it. Uh, you can't actually go down there and check out by the train itself. Okay, so that's Anvil Town. Um, kind of a small town, but like I said, on the weekends you can come here and do, like, star piece trading, you can watch the trains, you can talk to all the people here. It's a bunch of people, so it's definitely got its use. Alright, so that puts us at 32 minutes. This episode is gone on way too long. Let's, see what, let's just see what these other things are. Super double trains. Double trains. I think these all take you to, like, battles where you... Yeah, so, like, single is single battles... Super single battles is probably just like really hard ones and stuff like that, so that's that. If that is your thing, that is where you want to go. Alright, so in the next episode, we will head to the only route left to explore before taking on Nimbasa Gym for our, what is this, fourth badge? One, two, or is that our third badge? Man. Oh, no, 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 it's our, it's our fourth, yeah. Because, uh, what's his face in Castelia? performers gathering on route five okay so route five in the next episode we are going to explore that get some trainer battles under our belt and own so see you then